I hear you found the big bad monster you were after. Bernie Crane, the muscle Mary? Come on. Fuck you. You think I wouldn't have fingered him in a second if he was your guy? You could have told me he was here. I'm helping you find the man you're after. I'm not some reunite old boyfriend service. Look, I was in the army. I know it gets lonely. I know what it feels like to get close to a man. I'm sure you do, but you said you'd help me. I've already helped you, but I'll help you again. Wait for me to be in touch. Mr. Out of the car. Easy now. Forgive me. I'm sorry.
okay, kid? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Hey, uh, me and Francis were never exactly close, but he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor bastard. He believed in something once. That's a hell of a lot better than me, I guess. Fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? In here? Fine. Time of my life. Goddamn time of my life. What you up for? Oh, a lot of things. Racketeer and armed robbery. A bunch of shit I never did, because I was always a well-behaved family man who occasionally liked to drink, but nothing more. Of course. Like us all. Like us all. But the thing is, I think I should make some changes in my life. Stop with the drink. Put it down. Stop hanging out with the wrong sort. Can you help me do that? It is a final chance at redemption. Look, whatever you want, I will do my best to help. Good. Give Packy a call. He'll explain what, uh, I need guidance with the most. The areas where I have strayed furthest from the path. See ya. Brother told me to call you. Jerry wants us to kidnap old man Ancelotti's daughter. Some fake tan, dyed haired, Guido loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling her tasteful pink felter on auto erotica at the moment. Get online, organize a viewing, and snatch that bitch. When you got her, bring her to a place we got on an alleyway off Sacramento. I can do that. You can do anything, Nico. Don't let her on that you're kidnapping her near her place, though. So play along with a test drive for a while to get her out of there. It's a real mobbed-up area, and they'll come down on you damn heavy. Aren't you going to hell? One of my fucking brothers just got shot, and another one's in the pen. Someone's got to be with my mom. I'm, uh, calling about the car. Come to my place on Babbage Drive. You don't sound like the sort of man who drive a pink convertible. Well, I, I can't resist a bargain.
You're the guy who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. My family's from Italia, you know, somewhere in the south. Why don't you drive towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. So, you like the car? I didn't think a manly guy like you would drive something like this. You got a wife or a girlfriend or something? I'm picking this up for a friend. Yeah? What a gentleman. You don't meet guys like you in the city no more. All the good men are gone is what my dad says. Your dad sounds real old school. You and him close? Nah, not really. He's great and all. It's just I don't like his tough guy friends. I only hang out with gay guys, you know? At least they won't try and get in your pants every 10 seconds. Not that I don't like guys trying to get in my pants. I appreciate fun as much as the next girl. Maybe even more than the next girl. You having fun at the moment? Maybe too much fun. Call me Gracie, by the way. Sure thing, Gracie. How's it going then, sweetie? All right. But what I'm here for hasn't really started yet. You've been test driving for a while, so I can only guess that you're interested in something other than the car. I am. I'm here to kidnap you, Grace Ancelot. I don't want to hurt you, so remain fucking calm. Fuck you! That's it, fuck with. I can call it daddy, and he ain't gonna treat you as polite as I do, that's for sure. You're not calling shit, bitch. You're coming with me. You motherfucker, you sick bastard, you creep! When my daddy hears about this! Daddy ain't here now! Calm the fuck down, or little birdies will be eating your brains off the dashboard tomorrow morning. The moment I saw you, I knew you were an overcompensator. Making up for your one-inch punch with fast cars and guns. Fuck you! Fuck you! No can do, Jacob. I've got a girl with me, and uh, I don't think it would be appropriate. But let's speak soon, though, huh? You can go. I can't believe this is going There he is. Stevie, dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. Her pa's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, they better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. Gordon has the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. I'll get things in motion. Be in touch. Get out the car. You know who I am? Bad bunch, 
What's up, Mallory? Roman hasn't spoken to you about anything, has he? Nothing about maybe asking me to marry him? I haven't heard anything, but I'm sure it would be a really good thing for both of you. Thanks. And hey, Roman and I decided to be honest with each other last night. He told me about Vlad. He did? Yeah. Thanks for helping him get rid of the body. He has such fire in his heart. I guess when he found out about me and Vlad, he couldn't help himself. His love for me took over and he just had to kill him. That's exactly right. He's an old school romantic. See you soon, Mal. Florian, open the door. Nemo de Cepeda. Govorin Gleski. And I told you it's Bernie. Then Bernie opened the door. What's going on? Come in, come in. The haters are trying to kill me. I can't stand it. I won't stand it. It's not fair. I'm just being me. Bernie, what are you talking about? I came to this country to be myself, to get away from small-minded, angry, macho pricks. Oh, like me? Yes. Well, no. Uh, well, you know what I mean. It was hardly the most progressive place. How does my hair look? Fine. I put a rinse in. Tawdry night. Nice. Bryce found some gray hairs. If he leaves me, I'll kill myself. Forget about your hair, Florian. Bernie. I mean, Bernie. What's the problem? Someone is threatening to kill me. Every time I go out jogging and doing aerobics or playing ultimate disc, some guy comes up and threatens me. He's loco. Why is he threatening you? Because, uh, I think just because I'm fabulous. What? I keep thinking I'm being followed and I don't know why. I'm a prisoner in my own home. Okay, Bernie, let's go out and have a look. Ooh, I'm so glad you've come back into my life. That's cool, but listen. You and I don't know each other. How can you say that? I thought you were different. Because we want this guy to attack you. Come on. Oh. Let's go to Middle Park, Nix. Nico, you're still in great shape. You work out? Not really. I keep active, you know? Is there a name for that fitness class? I'd take a class if I could be guaranteed buns like yours. It's called getting chased by the cops and being errand boy for the mob. Ah. It's cardio time, Nico. Remember to keep some distance, though. Chase my tail, babe! Come on, slow coach! It's cardio time, Nico! 
You should not push me like this. Keep up, honey. It's my hiney that I'm worried about, honey. Get behind me. Nico, I need you to watch my behind. Watch my rear. I'm about done with you, homo. Ah! Ah! Oh! Why don't you pick on someone who'll fight back? What's your problem, fag lover? Whatever you say, buddy. Unfortunately, for hitting my friend, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. Jail! We need to get out of here! He's not going to attack you again. No, he ain't. You're an absolute sweetie, Nico Bellic. I never would have thought it. Gidimos il scoro div Nico Vecchi.
Corações.